press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Britain suffering from historical amnesia. Do you know you can do A-levels in this country in history and not even learn a line of colonial history? I find that bizarre. Apology would be a very good idea. Some might say, well, look, you know, this all happened a long time ago, I apologize now. But I'll point to Willy Brandt, the Social Democratic Chancellor of Germany, going on his knees in the Warsaw Ghetto in apology to Poland, uh, even though he, as a Social Democrat, was innocent of all Nazi wrongdoings. Uh, I'll point to Justin Trudeau, the Prime Minister of Canada, who apologized in the Canadian Parliament to the Indian people for an incident in which the Canadians had turned away a ship laden with Indian refugees who then met a terrible fate at the hands of the, the, the British as well as on the high seas. They didn't directly kill anybody and yet they felt there was an apology due. Britain's never apologized. If a hundred years later, a member of the royal family, because everything was done in the name of the crown, were to come to Jallianwala Bagh, to Amritsar, and express remorse and contrition for that horror, and by extension for all the horrors, the 35 million people who died in famines, all the things that the British were responsible for during their rule, it would be really a tremendous gesture that would have a wonderfully cleansing effect. So yes, I think an apology would help.